What do you want to say to me, my friend? Go on. Um, right, but you're talking about spiritual world. I'm telling you. Yeah, okay. Right now, they call me a Rasta. Okay. And the main thing I've got to say to all my Muslims is there's no way that I could ever be a Kafir. The reason why is because when you was in Saudi Arabia eating swine, we was fasting and praying in Kush, and we're still fasting and praying there till this time. Now, I don't know if you know about Ethiopia, but that's my culture, bro. And in Ethiopia, during Ramadan, the Christians and the Muslims pray together. That's real peace, my fam. And that's the Islam that I love. The Islam that knows that you have your way, which is true, but you can still see us. The Islam, which is based in peace, based in mercy, and based in love. And I see it when you debate. I don't see a lot of hate. And I can't lie, that shit there, family, I rate. Okay, okay, okay. Look. <laughs> Look, let me say something, yeah? <laughs> let me say something, all right. <laughs> let, let's put it this way, yeah? If you want to make a rap, I don't really want to sing. When you're a careful, it's when you disbelieve in a thing. Now, on this freestyle here, I'm not going to go around like a ring and I'm going to tell you that I'm not going to go into a cyclical fallacy. Okay. I'm saying God is one. That's what I'm saying here and now. now. <laughs> I've got the evidences and I like your smile. <laughs> Listen, if I give you evidences for the fact that God is one, his creator, would you consider being an instigator in the fact that you can start your monotheism and start believing in one God and that is the true religion? What do you think about that? Well, basically, <laughs> what I'm saying is, before you knew what monotheism was, in Kush, we was already worshipping one God. We was worshipping one God, not only with the Coptic Christians, but are you listening? I'm listening. Since the Falasha Jews. Okay. That's the Queen of Sheba. And that's the truth, and that's my roots. So, I respect you, because respect where respect's due. Okay, okay. You have to understand that before the Prophet Muhammad came, peace be upon him, in that land you call Saudi Arabia, many times we tried to teach one God. We fought many battles and the battle of the elephant was the last time we lost. Okay, okay. I like that. Listen, let me tell you something, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> There's many religions. You can count them till infinity. Those Coptic Christians didn't believe in one God, they believed in Trinity. Mm. Let me tell you something, that we believe that Adam was the first monotheist. Mm. He was the first man, and for him, believing in one God was bliss. Mm. Look, he was taken down from heaven, and that's our storyline. So let me tell you something right now. I believe that there's a fine line. It's a fine line between believing in one entity that started everything and believing in something which can't be which, can, <laughs> which, can't, which can't be said which can't sound good in one's ear okay look so it's a contradiction I'm saying look one God that's the all knowing the all creator that's what we believe I'm sure that standing right in front of me you can surely conceive that with the, with the qualities of all-powerful, omnipotence, omniscience and transcendence that that's a God that's worthy of worship and that's why I say look do you understand our version of theology? I understand your theology yeah. but sometimes the only problem as is that you don't want to acknowledge me okay. I'm saying the one God was okay. there in many African philosophies Way before you knew about philosophers like Socrates. Okay, you know? okay, Jeez. okay. Jeez. <laughs> 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 now he's talking. Now he's talking. Yo. All right. Yo. Okay, go on. I ain't saying that one God ain't right. Okay. Because we have always had a oneness. All right. If you know your name for oneness is Tawhid, but what's the name for oneness in Ethiopia? Tawhid Do. Oh. 
You see, oh, bro? Okay, bro. And before you knew about a oneness as Tawheed, we was practicing Tawheed, though. Yes, we understand duality and we understand the Trinity, but it all comes back to the oneness. For example, there is a two between you and me, but as a human family, there is a. Let me tell you, let me tell you, look, with them rhymes, you let me tell you something, Callum, let me tell you something. With those rhymes, you came hurt me, get me a bandage. The reason why Ethiopian and Arabic is similar is because they're both Semitic languages. Look, they're both Semitic languages. Look. <laughs> So when I, when I come and stand in front of you here, I'm not saying that Islam started in the desert in 7th century. I'm saying that Islam started with the first man, you see. Look, right. I'm saying that Adam was the first man and first prophet. All right. And he believed in one God. All right. And that was the concept. Look, I'm saying to you here that let's not reinvent the wheel. I know people accuse you because you're black of being a thief, so you don't steal. Look, I'm telling you something straight up. I'm telling you right here and right now. Look, look, look. What I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you is that we believe as Muslims that all prophets and messengers came with one word. That's La ilaha illallah, the Tawheed that you that you splurted. Look. You understand it as Tawhido, I understand it as well though, so why don't we come to a common term? I'm saying that, let's come to common terms to, to believe in that one word and when we do that, then only then can we say that we follow the right path. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying bro? I understand what you're saying bro. But where, 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 where yeah. are we different? Go on. I'm just saying, <laughs> the right path. So I understand right. your faith and I even agree with it. Okay. But you don't seem like you understand mine and you're getting it. And I understand that because I'm black they might think I'm a thief and that because you got a beard they'll think you're a terrorist. Yeah. But we know that ain't the truth. Yeah. We know that the truth is this system is about hate and divide. So all I'm about is loving and living my life. Now I know everyone has a different way of seeing what's right but I don't believe that mine is better than the next. Okay, right, um, right, respect, yeah? Yes. Let me tell you something, respect. Oh, yeah, let me say one more thing. Yeah, say it. Yeah, because you said Adam was a Muslim. Yeah. And I hear you, bro. Yeah. But let me show you stuff to make you think, you know, because Adam was a Rasta. Because Adam didn't have scissors, so he would have had locks like mine. Adam didn't eat no animals, let alone not eat from the swine. Yeah, that's right, Adam was a vegan. Okay. The first time that Eve saw an animal die, she was grieving to see an animal bleeding. So Rasta live in the original way. Like Adam, my friend, yeah, we keep it. Okay, way. okay, listen. I just wanted to say to you, look, it's not about skin color, because nowadays we've got a lot of narcissism. Look, let's get away from the schism and start talking about the real deal. Mm -hmm. I'm saying here that race is not a matter of disagreement. Mm -hmm. As the Quran says that we've created you in different races and tribes so you can get to know one another. Mm -hmm. So brother, look I'm not saying that just because you're black you're inferior. But you shouldn't come with that you're superior and I'm not saying you do. Here yeah, the, no. yeah yeah. And I'm saying that here look race is what but a colour. So we're saying here brother that truth is independent of race. When we say embrace the truth, we say embrace the reality. Yeah. And we're saying that the reality here from a theological perspective is believing in one God. Now you see where I'm coming from. So, coming back to my story, I said it started with Adam and my end is with Muhammad. We say he was the final and last prophet. Now, if I were to show you evidences of that, would you come closer to being a Dean brother? I've seen enough evidence yeah. to say that I'm just like the Nagashi. Okay, in, I like in that. that. I don't fight against Islam. Actually, my whole life I've accepted it. Okay. I've got a lot of friends in it. 
Okay. They're in the ends, innit? Yeah. And we be talking about religion. But me and my brothers, if you know about a lot of brothers and gangs, we don't deal with no division. Yeah. So we could be Muslim, Jew or Christian, but we all brothers. I like that. So I respect Islam. I don't do anything that I consider haram. Okay. <laughs> but I know that I got a little herb in my palm. <laughs> so, but they say about the herb was grown on Solomon's grave. I heard it in that's the what psalm. That's what they like to say. <laughs> I heard it in a psalm, but I didn't see it in the Quran. Okay. <laughs> but, but the, Quran, the Quran does say there's a herb to heal every man. And I believe that the herb that I use is the healing of the land. And it can heal every man. Just look at California. Medical marijuana. But a long time ago they said that the ganja farmer was growing drugs. Okay. But instead he was growing love. Okay, if me and you smoke a split, I swear <laughs> it will be bare peace between us. Let me tell you something, right? <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> if you're talking about splits, then I'm gonna say see you later. Look, you're saying you got the spliff in your pocket. I say you're not the rule maker. Look, the difference is this that we say that the the one God that cre is the creator, mm -hmm. that he's the rule maker, mm -hmm. that he created everything and gave us its proportions. Including Mother Nature. Including Mother Nature. <laughs> so let me, uh, you help me there. Yeah? <laughs> so look, when he's directing rules to humans, he's doing so from an all-knowing capacity. I'm saying, look here, it's time that you understand me and start realizing that when we say we're Muslims, we say we're all submissive to the one God. So that's where we're coming from ask yourself a question what's the purpose of life ask yourself a question what is the purpose of life you're talking about gangs but look it's not about carrying a knife I'm saying look the purpose of life is to know your creator know where you came from and know where you're going bro look it's nice weather today but from all year round we're coming here even when it's snowing telling the people to worship the one Lord and that's the reason because it makes perfect sense to the sound accord so bro you said you agree with a lot of what I said. I'm saying, look, that's a good step forward. So here the question is about the Prophet Muhammad. I'm asking you, could you see from any perspective that he could be a true prophet? And if not, why not? The Prophet said, no one's better except in piety. Yeah. And he showed you in Aksum, we had kings that were ruling righteously. We had one God while enough of them worship idols idly. Okay. You understand? So, I'm not saying that you ain't right from your following Islam and you're following it sincere in your heart, then wrong is a path that you can't and shan't go. I'm not trying to deter you from your faith. I'm just trying to bring you to a different place where you can see other people's faiths from a place of understanding. You see, I don't judge anyone because I take time to understand them. I don't believe it's about that we're going to be judged based upon our belief. I believe we're going to be judged based upon our actions, our words and our deeds. But my brother, in order to have your actions, words and deeds the best, then stay in your deed. I like that, I like you see that. see what I mean? Yeah, I do see that. Look, look, let me tell you something, yeah? <laughs> Look, I don't know what this is called, whether you want to call it rap or spoken word. If we're talking about prophets, then Islam is the most black religion in the world. Let me tell you why. We have Suleiman, who was said to be black, and Musa, who is Moses. Now these two prophets and Luqman were black. So we have nothing against blacks. What, what you're saying and what I'm saying is not disparate, so it's not a contradiction. So I'm liking this vibe because there is really no friction. What I'm saying here is that where we're moving forward in this conversation it's more just about than talking about these different things that we're saying so you've got the weed in your pocket and maybe you think that's the source of all pleasure but what i'm saying to you brother is that in fact there's a greater purpose and the greater purpose is to realize where where you came from or where you're going so here what i'm saying is islam gives you the answer and the solution so from that perspective, look, we're saying we have the evidences before. You're not going to be a blind follower. If I say, look, bro, Islam, 
Yeah, it's a religion that talks about heaven and believing in one God. We say that Jesus Christ was no God. We say that Jesus Christ was no son of God, but that he was in fact a Messiah. Look. But the same is said in Ethiopia. You know that I am? That's, okay, I like that, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, people come here and they're accused of lots of things, but I'm not going to be a liar. I'm going to tell you all the things that you need to know for your salvation. Sound like a Christian, I know, but this is how it is. Jesus Christ was no son of God or God, or, but he was the Messiah. He was a prophet. He didn't break the long chain of prophets that came before him. That's where we disagree with the Christian. Now, does that make sense? And would you say that now, believing in one God and his essence, <laughs> the raps are cutting too. <laughs> so the, the rhymes are not as good. It's something you could subscribe to. I'm trying to show you through the whole conversation yeah. that that's been a subscription from a whole nation. Okay, that's okay. Why there's been so many black Muslims. Yes. Because it resonated with something that we have already had in our different tribes, in every life, in every light. We see the oneness. I'm all for Islam, but I'm also for justice. Okay. Now, I don't agree in the invasion of the land. The reason why, car, I'm an African, and then man, they came up through the north, and they came in with a lot of brute force. Now, by a lot of Muslims, that story isn't talked, but it's in my history. My history ain't walked. Now, okay. I'm okay. not saying that that's Islam. Yeah. But I'm saying that unjust wars definitely haram. Okay. So, earlier on, you asked where God started. Well, they say, out of the darkness comes the light. No, they say, out, the light must come out of the darkness. Okay, let me tell you something, right? <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something, yeah? Do what you want to do, so long as you don't harm someone else. It's called liberalism. Before, I already talked to you about spiritual narcissism. I said to you that just because of our colour, it doesn't mean that we're superior. I'm saying to you, look, think of it the way I'm putting it to you. Look, why do you think that a war of invasion is wrong because of liberalism? Liberalism is a white man's construct. Now, as a black man that wants to differentiate themselves from the white man, taking that construct is a contradiction. So think of it this way. Back in the days we lived in the days of empire. And empires by their nature expanded. Now, the Muslim empire started small. Could have been engulfed or absorbed, it expanded. Now, how it expanded, there's a variety of different reasons. What I'm saying to you is that that's neither here or there. Today, half of Africa is, is Muslim. And what I'm saying to you, brother, as you said before, they believe in Tawheed, or as you say, you call it Tawheed. Yeah? I'm saying that this is not a new religion though. From the time of Adam to this time here, it's all the same deen, believing in one God. And we, we see and we hear. But well, what I'm saying is, we had the, we had the messages in different languages. And before you knew about one God and Tawheed in Arabic, we was talking about oneness and Tawheed in Amharic. So, and when I'm talking about my, the fact that I'm an African, it's because the Prophet even said that was a righteous land with a righteous man. Yeah. So I've got to be proud of that. Because I come from a spiritual people. And if you look at historically, to other nations, we never did no evil. But if you look at the Byzantines and the Sassanids, they was warring way before half of them even spoke Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're saying is there, before the coming of Islam, there was a lot of savages, yeah. barbaric pricks who didn't believe in one God or oneness. The same barbaric pricks that put a stone on my brother Bilal and he said, I had, I had. Mm. In a Rasta man's language, we say he was budding them out. Car, he said to the gods of Allah and Uzzah, he would not bow. Oh, I like it. 
Is it that like? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm, all right. With this, with this, let's conclude, sorry. Let's say that, yeah, like, yeah, conclude yeah. the remark.